CRT is a fantastic therapy which reduces morbidity and mortality in subjects with broad QRS. The problem is that 40% do not respond to CRT. Uh, so uh, the investigators of the Moore CRT MPP trial explored the effect of a new lead, a multipolar lead, that can space uh, the left ventricle by two poles, thus potentially capturing and resynchronizing more left ventricular tissue. So uh, they took uh, 1900 patients and they gave them this multipolar left ventricular lead. They waited for six months, having them paced in the ordinary biventricular fashion. Then they determined the number of patients who had not responded in terms of left ventricular reverse remodeling. Those patients were then randomized into either staying in the biventricular pacing mode or using the MPP uh, lead uh, to its potential. Then they were followed for another six months and at the end the investigators assessed the echocardiogram comparing to baseline, seeing how many of these initial non-responders had then converted into responders regarding reverse remodeling. So these were ordinary uh, CRT recipients, functional class 3 and 4 meaning symptomatic. Uh, and they had ischemic heart disease, dilated chromopathy, left bundle branch block 70%. Uh, and then the results were actually a bit disappointed. 30% in both groups converted from non-response to being responders. So perhaps not what the MPP uh, um, investigators had hoped for, but in those 68 or so patients where they actually tried to program the um, uh, multipolar lead to its full potential, in those patients there was a conversion rate which was 45% instead of 30%. So that gives us a clue that if you use this lead and program it to capture more left ventricle, maybe the results will be very different and that will be actually investigated in the more CRT MPP phase 2 trial. But what I would like to say from a challenges point of view of the study is that maybe left ventricular reverse remodeling is not the only way of assess respond in a CRT recipient. In fact, after those six months when the randomized phase started, there were many patients that were actually in function class one and two, meaning that they were mildly symptomatic. So even if they didn't have any echocardiographic response, uh, they did have a clinical response. So this is one of the weaknesses. The other is that we don't know exactly what the investigators did with the MPP lead, if they programmed it in different ways. So, uh, but it's interesting study, waiting for phase two, for more definite results.